Before you can have elite striking like Volkanovski, you've got to have elite fainting with Volkanovski. We're going to start with the in and out. For this technique, you fake like you're going in, and then you move out. The goal is when you go in to draw out some kind of reaction from your opponent, especially backing them up. You'll often move your opponent's hands out of positions with this technique as well. They think you're coming in, so they throw up a hand technique to block it. If you were to take one technique away from this video, the fake uppercut would be a great one. Never did I see this technique so well utilized as when Volkanovski fought Makachev. One of the reasons it's so good is because the upper, uppercut is just so identifiable to look at. It's easy to see what it looks like, and it's easy to see the beginning of it. Because of this, it's a tremendous feint. Now, if you saw my Israel Adesanya video, you may remember the fake rear kick. For this technique, you're either going to fake a teep or a round kick with your rear leg. Both really have the ideal, the goal of backing up the opponent or drawing out their hands. Another thing it often does is it draws out their check, throwing off the timing for the defense of the low kick. Another common feint used by Volkanovski, lifting the lead leg to make it look like a lead kick, often backing the opponent up or drawing out the hands. And just like the previous feint we talked about with the rear leg, this technique also draws out the check, opening up all kinds of stuff, but typically backs the opponent up. Last one we'll talk about here is a level change fate. Now, because Volkanovski has that elite wrestling and elite striking, he has a wide variety of feints he can pick from. Now, just how respected is the wrestling of Volkanovski? Well, even Islam Makachev is going to back up should Volkanovski fake a takedown, right? That really says something. When a Dagestani wrestler up a weight class backs up from your fake takedown, you know that this guy has the wrestling to match that elite striking. And all of you watching this video at home should get that as well. Make your wrestling elite and make your striking elite. It's all one sport. There's no reason not to anymore.